In this lesson, we'll continue our view of PSAT Math Test 2, Section 4, Calculator Permitted, Questions 13 through 15. So we're in the middle of the problem solving section. Let's take a look at 13. A moving company uses plastic wrap to bubble groups of boxes together. If a portion of plastic wrap that measures 900 inches in length is used to bundle each group of boxes, how many groups of boxes can be bundled using 1,500 feet of the same type of plastic wrap? So this is a unit conversion. We're told that a portion of wrap is 900 inches to bundle each group. And if you notice, questions asking in terms of feet. So the first step is let's convert these inches into feet. And this will give us how many feet to for each portion of uh, to bundle each group. And so we'll just use our calculator. So 900 divided by 12, and that is 75. So 75 feet to bundle each group, how many groups of boxes can be bundled using 1500? So we now we have the same unit, so we just divide 1500 by 75 and this will yield our answer. So 1500 divided by 75 and the answer is 20 feet. All right, let's take a look at question 14. The table below shows the number of calories in a cheeseburger at six different restaurants. We've got six restaurants, calories. What is the difference in the number of calories in a cheeseburger at the Riverside Diner and the median number of calories in cheeseburgers at all six restaurants? And so first, let's figure out the number of calories in Riverside. We just have to look at the charts right here. So we know that is... 1,120. Now the median, we had a problem like this in the last video. Remember, if this is an uh, odd number of terms, then there's only one middle number and there's an even distribution on either side. But with an even number, with six, it will be the average of the two in the middle. And you don't have to write these out. What I would recommend is just cross out, like this is the way I would do it. So we're looking, you know, there's two big ones. There's two small ones and the middle two get average. And so for the two big ones, I would just cross this one out. This is a big one and this is a big one. Now look for the smallest ones and that would be 700 and 740. And so these are the two that's left. This is gonna be the average, the median of these two. And so we want 810 plus 900. Just use our calculator, that looks to be 1710 and divide that by two. I know that if it's 1700, it would be 850, so it looks like 855. But again, just use your calculator. So we're just looking at the difference from 1120 minus 855, and this will give us the difference, the answer. It's 265C. All right, and let's take a look at 15. A circle is graphed in the xy plane if the circle has a radius of 3 and the center of the circle is at 4, negative 2, which of the following could be an equation of the circle? So you have to know the standard form for the equation of a circle. It usually gets tested one time, so I'm just going to give it to you. It's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared where h and k, these are the coordinates, x and y respectively, of the center of the circle, and it's the opposite sign. So for example, if this were x minus five squared, the x coordinate of the center would be five. If this were y plus two, that would be minus two for the y coordinate of the center. And we know it equals r squared. And we're told that the radius is three, and so we have to have this equal to nine, right? There's no square here, so it equals r squared. We're down to c and d. We also know the center is 4, negative 2, 4, 4, negative 2, negative 2. The only difference between these, this one is a plus and this is a minus. And if you know your formula, it's plus and the answer is C.